Hey everyone, welcome to Firebase Release Notes for August, where we'll highlight some of the big and small updates from the past month. We have five releases to cover today, so let's dig in right away. With Cloud Functions, you can run small snippets of your code on Google servers in response to events that happen in your Firebase project. For example, you can send a push notification to your users when a document is written to Firestore. Or you can scrub inappropriate language from text that your users post to the Rotom database. When you deploy Cloud Functions through the Firebase CLI, you can now deploy to the brand new Asia East 1 and Asia Southeast 1 regions. This brings the total number of regions to 22, so there's always going to be a place close to your users where you can run this code. Check the links to the documentation and the release in the description below. If you use cloud messaging to deliver messages to your users when they may not be actively using your app, you probably want to know whether those messages were delivered or not. Well, in fact, this is so important that we have an entire documentation page about it, and we have delivery reports in the Firebase console. You can also export the delivery metrics from FCM into BigQuery and perform your own analysis there. That was already possible for Android, and we just added the ability to version 8.6 of the iOS SDK 2. So if you now ask the user's permission by calling the new Fur Messaging Extension Helper Export Delivery Metrics to BigQuery API, and if you have enabled the export in the Firebase console, your delivery metrics for iOS will show up in BigQuery 2. Check the links to the SDK and the documentation that includes many sample queries that you can use to start creating your own FCM delivery reports. Firebase Remote Config allows you to change the behavior of your app without needing to deploy a new release to your users. If you're using the parameter editor for Remote Config, you have noticed that it changed quite a bit in the past few weeks. The parameters you edit are now shown in a side panel, while your entire configuration is still showing on the main page. This makes it easier to see how the parameter changes are going to affect the users of your app. There's nothing you need to do to get this update. Just go to Remote Config in the Firebase console to start using it, and if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. Google AppMob is an easy way to monetize your mobile apps with targeted in-app advertising. And when you use AppMob with Firebase, you get additional app usage data and analytics capabilities. If you're curious how to better monetize your app without compromising user experience, check out our new step-by-step -step guidance. In addition to the video series Optimize Your App Revenue, we just published two new solutions guides in our documentation. One to test adoption of new AppMob ad formats, and another one to optimize AppMob ad frequency. Check the links to the video playlist and the guides in the description below. And finally, a quick update for those of you who use Firebase performance monitoring to gain insight into the performance characteristics of your iOS, Android, and web apps. The performance monitoring page in the Firebase console now automatically refreshes its data. Report cards and metric cards get refreshed every minute, and there's a tiny pulse animation to visually indicate that the data is kept fresh. Do you like this change or any of the other releases that we covered today? Let us know in the comments. Those were all the updates we have time for today. If you like them, give us a like or subscribe to the channel. My name is Frank Ruppuff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.